guys, so today I'm going to review a palette. Um, this is by Maybelline The Nudes. It's pretty old, but I bought it a long time ago, and I didn't get a chance to play with it until now. In this video, I'm going to show you some swatches of the palette um, without primer, and then I'm going to do a day look with this palette, and then to a night look. And the reason why is because even though this isn't the most amazing palette, it's very affordable. This is a great palette for people who can't afford um, more high-end palettes, like the ones from Urban Decay or Smashbox. Okay, I like the packaging. It's very sleek, it's very small, it's nice for travel, and um, it comes with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 shadows. So that's a pretty good amount of shadows. So it comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five mattes, and the rest are shimmer. And um, like it says, it's like a nude palette, and I would say it's more of the cool tone. You're probably asking, Thais, why? Why would you, why do you not like this palette? Well, um, although it is a good palette in the sense of it having a lot of different colors to play with and um, a lot of different colors to make a, different looks with, um, it does not blend well. It's really hard to blend and it's really hard to build up the color. Um, as, you can, as you can see from the swatches, um, it looks beautiful, like some of these colors look amazing, but when you go to blend them, they just fade away. And even with a really good primer, um, it still doesn't work out. So for the price point of $10, it's it's good, but I would say it's more for beginners that um, just want to start out learning how to use nude colors. But for me, I don't, I wouldn't buy this again. I mean, it's not... I'd probably give it to my sister, but I don't want to like shit all over this palette because it is workable. Like I did, I was able to come up with a look with it, but it did take a lot of blending and it took a really long time to build up the color. So I recommend for beginners and for if you can afford, um, if if the price point is right for you, ten dollars um, is how much it costs. So if the price point is right for you and you don't want to go out and pay fifty, sixty dollars for a palette, then this is good. Also, I wanted to mention that it comes with this little doe foot applicator on both, it's like a double-ended, um, but I don't use that because it's useless to make. If you want to see the day to night look, um, just keep on watching. First I use this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer called Eden, and then I use this light color to put all over my lid as a base color. Then I use this taupey brown color to warm up my crease so that I can get ready for some darker shades. Then I put this gold color on my lid and I kid you not, I had to pack on about eight layers so that you could see the shadow. And also, I did wet the brush, so that helped a lot. Then with this darker brown, I used that and I buffed it out in the outer V and in the crease. Then I put this color in the outer V as well because we're just going to keep this day look simple. I used the black liner to tight line and I also used it as acting as the liquid liner just so it looked a little more appropriate for daytime and less harsh. So I did my normal foundation routine and for the daytime look, 
Um, the blush that I used was from Maybelline and it's called Make a Mauve. And the highlight that I used was from Wet n Wild and it's called To Reflect. This lipstick is from L'Oreal and it's called Fairest Nude. Now for the night look, I deepen the crease with this really dark brown just to darken up the look, make it more smoky. color like four times so it's gonna take a while for you to blend this then I just reapplied the same gold onto my lid then I added some black just to make it really smoky With a small precision brush, I put this brown underneath my eye to bring the whole look together. Then I use the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner. It's the liquid liner and it's the best thing in the entire world. I do not use anything else but this. Then I highlighted with the lightest color in the palette. Then to make the contour more nighttime appropriate, I darkened it with the Studio Fix from MAC in C7. For the blush, I used this one from Revlon in Why Not? And for the highlight, I used this one from Physicians Formula called Natural Pearl. And to darken up, the lipstick is from MAC and it's called Sin. 